Welcome to the Still Gender Podcast, Earthlings. This is the show where we will dive into taboo topics and the stuff we didn't learn in school. Here we will talk about actionable tips, tricks, and strategies for the -the out-of-the-box thinkers, dreamers, and weird folks who don't quite fit in with the cultural norms, who just want to live authentically too. No more feeling misunderstood or alone because here we are all a little strange and that is celebrated. I'm talking to you, Misfit, and I am your mother, Misfit, Laura Siljander. So let's start practicing compassion with ourselves and push that love and light out to others. Yeehaw! Let's go. Misfit, modern yogis, welcome. You'll notice by my tone, I'm not probably as high vibey as I usually am. And that's what I really want to talk to you about. Is this like high vibe, live in your best life stuff? Because I have been through the ringer these last few days. I know that y'all have been through the ringer before or you're walking through fire right now. You're in the midst of grief, loss, a breakup. Just life is not going as you expected and you don't really know how to handle it and what to do. I think this is a human experience. I think that unless you live under a rock, we've all gone through things that we don't know what the next step should be. And sometimes it can be self-destructive in different ways. Like you can think of the traditional ways of drinking, sex, and all that, but it also could be like grasping at control, worrying, trying to do things that actually don't really matter just to make yourself feel better. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I just, I want to talk about it. I'm not going to tell you about my pain story because it's really not about me and my story. It's about our stories, our stories of pain, our stories of heartbreak, our stories of challenge. And I know that that's what life brings. So why is it that when I turn on my social media feed, everything is so like high vibey? The vibes are high. Everyone's good. Like I'll look at someone and I know that they are walking through fire but their social media has them smiling and life is peachy and there's some like inspirational quote. And I'm like, maybe he or she was feeling good at the time, but maybe because we don't want people to know that we're hurting. Well, I'm here to tell you that I'm hurting. And if you're hurting too, you're not alone because life hurts sometimes. Sometimes life feels like you've been run over by a train. (laughs) I wanna meet you there. I wanna meet you in your challenge. I want to meet you, not trying to make you feel better, but just to meet you in that space, in that place. I've noticed these last few days that my family has been through the ringer and we're walking through fire or in hell or whatever you want to call it. Sounds dramatic, but it feels like that sometimes, like you've been run over by a bus. People are trying to tell me that everything's going to be okay. Sending you good vibes. Everything's going to be just fine. Here's my opinion about what's going on whether I ask for it or not. I have yet to find a friend who will sit with me for more than a few minutes in my pain and not try to fix it and not try to tell me everything's gonna be okay. Because to be honest, they don't know. Your friends and family, they don't know if everything's gonna be okay. They don't. And then everyone gets into this fixing mode and giving them their opinions. Well, screw them. Or like, you'll be better off without them or everything will work out. Well, of course, everything's going to work out. But at the time, that's not what you want to hear. Why can't we just sit in each other's pain and not try to fix, but just be there? Wow, that sounds like it's really hard. I wish someone would say that that sounds really tough. And I'm so sorry you're going through that and just stop and just be there. Hold my hand or just sit with me in silence as I try to process but we're so quick to fix, fix, fix. Here's my useless opinion. Everything's gonna be okay. God, stop that. (laughs) If you're doing that, stop that. What's interesting is the people in front of me, their intentions are good. Their intentions are, I see someone I care about in pain and I wanna fix it. Their intentions are kind and they're sweet, but the person going through the fire doesn't feel support. They don't feel love. They feel like maybe they should just suck it up and yeah, everything's going to be fine and you stuff it down or spiritually bypass it because I've also heard that, well, maybe that's not God's intention. And I'm like, okay, why can't we just sit with each other's pain and that discomfort? Is that so scary? 
I'm starting to think that when someone tells me it's going to be okay, it's more for them than for me. It's more like I can't really handle your pain right now or this scares me. So I'm just going to try to cut this conversation off and everything's going to be okay. Who are you trying to convince yourself or me? And yet eventually we have to figure out what to do. And eventually we need to make moves and pull ourselves out of our anxiety and pull ourselves out of our depression and pull ourselves out of it. But sometimes, sometimes it's okay to sit with it, to let it fester, to turn on emotion and let it just wash over you. And just so, just so you know, okay, I am feeling it right now. This sucks. I don't know what to do. Most of us do have the luxury to sit there and say, I need to sit with this for at least five minutes at the very least and not spring into action, not spring into everything's going to be okay. High vibe culture, good vibes. Why can't we just sit? Why can't my loved ones just sit with me? I don't know the answer other than it sounds a lot harder and scarier. As a yogi, we are told to become an observer of the mind, an observer of our behaviors, to observe what's going on internally and externally. Why do I think this way? Why am I reacting this way? Why am I eating this food? Why do I only sleep three hours? As a yogi, we are told to observe that. And I guess when I'm sitting here talking to you, I wish I would give myself permission to just feel and not fix. I wish I could let myself grieve and be frustrated and angry, but not spring into action and just spring into blame and screw you and screw them. And But I wish I was given permission not to say, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Be positive, but just to sit and say, it's okay to feel what you are experiencing right now. So if you need that permission, it is okay to experience what is going on right now. You heard it, not to fix, not to say it's gonna be okay, not to say be optimistic, be positive, but it is okay to feel pain, to feel let down. I wish I told myself this days ago because I've been sitting here for days blaming, grasping at control, and not sitting with my emotions, but just react, react, react. And this morning I woke up and said, I haven't observed myself. I haven't been living my yoga these last two or three days. I've been react, react, blame, blame. I'm mad. Instead of stepping out, observing my thought process, my reactions, my behavior, and saying, do I want to participate with that? And the answer is get me off this roller coaster of I'm mad, I'm fine, I'm mad again, this sucks. (laughs) I'm not saying that my issues are resolved and they're fixed because they're not. And I don't think any podcast or pill is going to help take away all of our pain. And I'm not going to sit here and say, this is a growth time, a time of growth, even though it freaking is. It so is. I don't want to hear that sometimes at that moment. It's too much. Yes, I'll grow. Yes, you will grow. Yes, I will learn. And yes, you will learn. That typically comes later though. And at this moment, life seems overwhelming. Life seems unfair. And life seems challenging. Can we meet each other there? Can we meet ourselves there if others won't and say, I'm not going to try to fix this, but I want to sit with myself in this. Why do I feel like my stomach is in knots? Well, it's because you're stressed out. Why aren't I sleeping? Because there's stuff on my mind. Why aren't I eating? It's because my stomach hurts. Can you meet her there? Can you meet him there? Them there? Can you meet yourself there? Can we not try to hide? Can we not try to fix? Can we not try to stuff down? and just meet ourselves there if others are unable. You can come home to yourself and say, this is where I'm at right now. I'm not gonna try to fix, I'm just gonna sit. And yes, eventually I'll pull up my bootstraps and get her done as they say in the South. But for right now, this is where I'm at. Don't try to fix it. You may think, how is this gonna help me? (laughs) This seems pointless. I've got kids, I've got classes, I've got responsibilities. I believe that there's healing here. I feel that the more we stuff it down, 
the more it starts to leak out on other facets of our life, whether we are aware of it or not. Sometimes this is all I can allow my clients. I call it compassionate witnessing. I'm here with you, you are not alone. Let's talk about it and not try to fix. And until they are ready, until you are ready, until I am ready, then we can try to fix. But if we skip this vital step of, oh my gosh, I feel like the walls are caving in on me and I don't know where to go, I think this could leak out on our kids, on our friends, on our spouses, on our family members, on our diets, on our sleep. Take it from me, that's where I've been the last three days. And this morning I had this like awakening, like, girl, you've walked away from your yoga practice. I'm not talking about your warrior one warrior practice. I'm talking about your self-study, your stepping out and observing yourself. Why am I doing this? Why do I feel this way? Can I just be in it rather than try to change it? Can I be content with this moment even though this moment I feel pain? That's yoga. That's the yoga practice. And ever since I've been doing that for the last few hours, I'm not saying that my stuff's fixed, but I feel better. And I honestly feel like perhaps now I can try to deal with it with a more clear head. Even though my situation isn't fixed, I'm still in pain, but instead of reacting and letting this control get into my car and drive my collar around, I've gotten out of the car, I've gotten this control out of the driver's seat, and my car's parked, and I'm just looking at it right now trying to figure out where I'm going going to go. Give yourself permission. If your friends and family can't do it, if they are trying to fix, which it's out of good intentions, but sometimes it doesn't help, give yourself the permission to just sit and observe what the heck is going on. That's all I have. I know this was raw. I know this was different. I know that this wasn't as uplifting, but life isn't always like that. And this live your best life, high vibe culture that we're cultivating is not something that I want to participate in. Yes, I want to live a good life. Yes, I want to be positive. But sometimes that's not the case and that's okay. Come as you are.